Many of the chemicals we use in the lab are potentially dangerous, especially under high heat, pressure, or when they're mixed with other chemicals. There are two main tools that we use to identify chemical hazards, safety data sheets and chemical labels. Every chemical in the lab is required to have a technical document called a safety data sheet, or SDS, usually provided by the manufacturer. These were formerly known as Material Safety Data Sheets, or MSDS. The safety data sheet is a one-stop shop to find out about a chemical's properties, hazards, and safety precautions. Know the location of the safety data sheets in your lab and review them before working with a chemical for the first time. GHS is an acronym for the Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals. This new system provides an international standard format for safety data sheets. All SDS must now be organized into 16 sections. Section 1, Identification. Here you'll find the chemical's name, description, and the manufacturer's contact information. 2, Hazard Identification. This section lists signal words, warnings, and safety symbols. Three, composition, a list of ingredients. Four, first aid measures. What's the required treatment for a person who's been exposed? Five, firefighting measures. Six, accidental release measures. These are instructions for containment and cleanup of spills or leaks. Seven, handling and storage requirements. Eight, exposure controls and personal protection. This describes OSHA's exposure limits and recommendations for PPE. Nine, physical and chemical properties, such as appearance, odor, pH, flashpoint, solubility, and evaporation rate. 10, stability and reactivity, how to avoid hazardous reactions. 11, toxicological information, find out about the likely roots of exposure symptoms as well as short and long-term effects. Sections 12 through 16 aren't mandatory, but you should at least be familiar with them. Ecological, disposal, transport, and regulatory considerations. Section 16 is for any other pertinent information. This is where you'll find the date that the SDS was prepared along with the last known revision. Safety data sheets provide a lot of information about how to use chemicals safely in the lab. But there's also another way to learn about a chemical and that's by reading its label. The new GHS format requires each chemical in the lab to be labeled with the product name, a signal word such as danger or caution, physical, health and environmental hazard statements, precautionary statements, pictograms, first aid instructions, and the supplier's contact information. Pictograms consist of a symbol on a white background framed in a red border. Each pictogram represents a specific hazard. Health, flammability, toxicity, compressed gases, skin and eye protection, unstable explosives, oxidizers. An oxidizer is a chemical that initiates combustion through the release of oxygen, environmental hazards, and acute toxicity. Now you know how to identify potential chemical hazards by looking at both safety data sheets and chemical labels. In our next lesson, we'll examine some important techniques for handling chemicals safely.